So should I take a photo of my poop, of my dookie and mint an NFT from this photo and sell it for a million dollars? Hmm, I need to think about that. <laughs> So in this video, I want to talk why NFTs are worthless, for real. People say NFTs are scarce. So it is a photo of my dookie. How come my dookie doesn't have any value? Yes, I'm saying it. NFTs are worthless. But before you shoot me down, let me explain. First, what are NFTs? NFTs, or non-fungible tokens, are a record on the blockchain and it's just an entry on the blockchain in this distributed database of the assets ownership whatever is the asset can be digital art can be uh, eventually a house in the future a car uh, something unique these nfts are usually represented by a token minted from a blockchain like ethereum uh, and can be, for example, the ERC721 smart contract standard, which basically allows you to represent the ownership of a digital asset, assuming that you legally own that asset or that you paid for it. And these blockchains, such as the Ethereum blockchain, where most NFTs are minted, are immutable, verifiable, auditable, transparent, and public. I'm sure you already heard these words. And it gives this gives anyone the ability to see who owns what and this is why blockchains are amazing to record nfts but there is a but if it is so easy to mint nfts can i just mint my dookie photo and sell it maybe well all you need to mint a new NFT is a few lines of code and a to address, a token ID, which is basically the unique ID of the token of your NFT and the URL for the digital asset where you can, for example, use uh, IPFS. Once you mint the new NFT, this record will be forever registered in the blockchain. By the way, I will leave you an article, a Medium article uh, that I wrote talking about how to mint an NFT. And also, if you want to know more, more details, you can check my NFT course on the link below. Okay, it seems too easy to mint an NFT, right? And it gets even easier if you use one of the many available NFT marketplaces like OpenSea and mint your NFT from there. That's probably why there is almost 19 million NFTs on sale on OpenSea. This is shocking. 19 million NFTs? Does it mean that they all have value? No. <laughs> Let's talk about the NFTs value and talk about notaries, public notaries. That, this is where people get confused. NFTs themselves don't hold any value. The value of an NFT is whatever is the value of the artwork that it represents. So that's why it doesn't make sense to talk about NFTs having value or NFTs buying an NFTs just because they are NFTs. And this, this entire hype around NFTs is just ridiculous. If NFTs had any value, I'll pay the gas fees to mint my dookie to take a, I'll take a, go to the bathroom get my dookie out, take a photo and mint it as an NFT. But unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. NFTs on the blockchain are simply public notaries on the blockchain. In the real world, you go to a public notary to register and validate a transaction, to validate a signature of people involved in a transaction. So you go to the public notary when you want to complete a transaction to buy a house, for example, or, or uh, some kind of uh, very expensive asset. The notary will validate the transaction, so it's going to check that the seller wants to sell the house and that you want to buy the house. The payment is made, the signatures are recognized, and the new ownership of the house is registered in your name. And this public notary or lawyers, this is what they do. And this is what NFTs do, but in the digital world. They are digital notaries. So why would NFTs have value then? They don't have. 
NFTs are just like an old piece of paper with some data saying who owns what. Now, what can eventually have value is what you own, the asset, the underlying asset, not the NFT. If I admire a certain digital artist and if I want exclusive ownership and copyrights of his art, I can now buy an NFT of his art. Beeple, for example. I follow Beeple for many years and I always wanted to buy his artwork. He used to sell prints, but not number and not sign, and this, is, this was not very attractive for me. It's not unique. Who wants to have a print that is not even signed or numbered? It could be like 10,000 copies out there and they are all the same. People want to feel special, they want to feel that they have something unique. The story got different with the advent of the NFTs. I could finally have unique Beeple artwork, having the ownership and signature recognized in an immutable way on the blockchain. Did I get the Beeple NFT? No, I could not afford it. But it opened the opportunity to own something unique, digital assets. For example, I could buy this print here. This is a 100 limited edition for only $286,000. But I cannot do it at the moment. But anyway, this people limited edition is kind of similar to a, a numbered and signed print that you can buy from an art fair. For example, uh, last week I bought this, uh, this uh, painting here, this print, South Sea Fish Parade, a limited edition of 60 by Shan Jiang. And it's not an NFT, but could eventually be. So the art is signed and it's numbered. But imagine instead of having a physical signature, you could have a digital signature. And this would be the NFT. So do NFTs have value? No, they don't. NFTs are just certificates of ownership. NFTs are like a piece of paper where someone signs who owns what. The what is what has value. If you look at NFTs like CryptoPunks, the Bored Ape, the Beeple artwork and the Doge Meme original photo, they, they have a lot of value. They are a unique, scarce asset and artists only issue a very limited number of this kind of art. NFTs are all about the underlying asset. Is the artist behind the artwork a recognized artist? Is the artwork unique or part of a limited edition? Is the artwork any good, aesthetic, etc.? Is there any demand for the artist? If you could reply yes to some of these questions, then maybe the NFT may have value. Did you buy any Dookie NFT? If yes, you are not alone. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and follow my channel. I'll be doing more videos about NFTs, crypto, Bitcoin, blockchain, and all this cool stuff. All right, I'll see you around.